perspective for the Democratic Republic of Congo. Last Monday, the minister in charge of media and government spokesperson, Lambert Mende Omalanga, held a news conference essentially focused on the meeting between the Congolese head of state, Joseph Kabila Kabange, and the ambassadors. Clearly, a particular emphasis was put on MONUSCO and the disarmament of rebels in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. For a better future, get on BS more. Bien. Comme vous pouvez vous y attendre. The discussion between Lambert Mende Omalanga and media professionals at the main point, namely the meeting that took place last Monday between the Republic President Joseph Kabila Kabange and the score of ambassadors and diplomatic mission chiefs commissioned in Kinshasa City, as well as the special representative of the United Nations General Secretary, the head of MONUSCO. The government spokesperson has relayed to the opinion the message of Joseph Kabila Kabange for those diplomats. First of all, the relation state between DRC and MONUSCO, particularly in forced disarmament operation of random rebels and FDLR. The President Joseph Kabila, the President Joseph Kabila Kabange reminded to his guests that today nobody can teach a lesson to defense and security force of the Democratic Republic of Congo on the best way of any rebellion of the negative force and this specifically for preserving the sovereignty of the Democratic Republic of Congo. And the Republic President has decided since yesterday to renounce the expected support of MONUSCO for the forced disarmament operation of FDLR to sum up, those operations that have successfully started will continue till the end without the support of MONUSCO. À la pluie qui était attendue de la MONUSCO. Lambert Mende has also clarified in connection to attitudes and behavior of those diplomats in DRC and reminded them the universal respect of international right principle. According to the government spokesperson, everything was done in friendly manner. Some diplomats have immediately been told to stop to view DRC as a conquered land and start viewing DRC as a far west in the western where everything is allowed. Somewhere it is forbidden, but here it can be done. It has been reminded that a diplomat can in no way view himself as an actor or an active protagonist in the local debates which is exclusively reserved to national politicians. In another chapter, the Minister Mende shares with all Congolese people the success of the Amani Carnival. This joy demonstrates that the Democratic Republic of Congo does its best to help things move ahead and is determined to be united for a better future. A meeting was organized last Monday on the Yinga Free Project. Experts of Energy Ministry representatives of shareholders and various development partners took part in a thorough discussion regarding the achievement of Yinga Free Project here in the Democratic Republic of Congo. As you can see, electricity will no longer go off in the Democratic Republic of Congo very shortly. Find out. <laughs> These World Bank experts will supervise these projects in the setting of the exhaustive market review, among others, objectives works concern the evaluation of the achieved projects these days about the implementation of the financing program, calendar as well as implementation financial agreements for the two projects considered, and the economic and financial situation are part of the agenda. Explanations are given by the Chief of the World Bank Mission. We work in partnership with the electricity company about the INGA projects for more productions in Kinshasa and electrification of different areas, even Katanga province. The electricity company prioritized the INGA project achievement, that is the confirmation of the electricity company CEO. This meeting is in fact one of the periodic meetings for evaluating physically and financially the implementation project. It is something ordinary which requires strategies since we are near the end of financing at the World Bank. These works will start from February 16th to the next of February 24th. It gathers experts of Energy Group, Portfolio, Electricity Company, as well as Copyrep of World Bank. The World Bank experts supervised the project in the setting of the market review last month, namely the evaluation of the achieved project and the implementation of the financing program about Inga Free Project here in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This work will be done in partnership with the Democratic Republic of Congo's electricity company for a better future. Get to more. 
It will take at least uh, four days, that is from February 16th to February 19th, 2015, to hope to finish the works. Experts of Energy Ministry and Hydraulic Resource representatives or shareholders and their various development partners will have to discuss the achievement of Inga 3 projects. These meetings are supposed to overcome all possible obstacles to the progress and advancement of Inga 3 projects. The reason why Energy Minister and Hydraulic Resource Janu Matadinenga believes that all parties should privilege the high interests of the Republic for a quick achievement of this project. We are facing energy deficits, but that will not persist longer. It will end, but first, most of machines are being fixed. That justify the fact that shortly the deficit problem will be solved. And that project is supported by the head of state and the head of the government, Joseph Kabila Kabange. His main concern is the construction of Inga 3. According to the Democratic Republic of Congo government, the layer of foundation of the Great Inga 3 will take place by October 2015. The partnership between the United Nations Agency and the Gender Ministry is more and more getting better because last Monday both parties signed the program on a couple of strategies to end sexual violence in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the security situation is still laborious, as you can see. Find out. That is based on strengthening of structure of government coordination, highlighting prevention. The priority is focused on the North Kivu and Province Oriental. So UNICEF will help in multi-sectoral assistance with 50% of budgets. Women UN will focus on prevention and sexual violence, protection and communication. UNFPA will take care of data and map with 20% of budgets. This program will result in the community resilience and the vulnerability reduction. All measures are made to assure, along with the United Nations agencies, the security and peace of the Democratic Republic of Congo. That stability shows the determination of both the Gender Ministry and the United Nations to assist the population living in that part of the country, especially raped women and abandoned children, to recover from the war aftermath and live in peace and sustainable development. Last Monday, an outstanding opportunity was given to Thompson Company staff to discuss with the National Committee of Migration into Digital Terrestrial Television. The French company even commended its services by putting a particular emphasis on the way forward to achieve the goal regarding DTT in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Get on with more. It was a nice opportunity for Thompson Camp and his staff to discuss with the National Committee of Migration into Digital Terrestrial Television. Thompson Company considers that its structures offer services able to adjust to DTT. Still, that enterprise suggests that while setting up those equipments, several aspects should be taken into account, of which environmental stakes and the setting up of the small areas that promote migration success. Laurent Talibar is a manager of development and trade of Africa and Thompson. For the coordination of DTT, that discussion allowed them to make a choice of equipment. The DTT field being launched after calls will continue to be launched for the interested operators. <laughs> A training was organized for five days from February 9th to February 13th, 2015. The participants took advantage with the acquisition of knowledge on social and financial education of children in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The purpose is about helping them with saving notions and small business creation in DRC. Let's take a listen. <laughs> For five days from February 9th to February 13th, participants will acquire knowledge on social and financial education of children in educational setting. The purpose of this is to train them saving notion, environmental management, and the creation of small businesses. The trainers of trainers, Jean-Michel Ngoy explains the relevance of this training. This partnership is made in educational settings. That means while at school, the child learns to make a project which he could one day have an impact on his adult life, but that has nothing to do with children's works. 
It is in the setting of his personal training for his future and education. Cosma Dinga, a participant in his training, couldn't but express his satisfaction. We've just added some knowledge. From this training, the child is able to create his business, manages his means through the bank account with the parent's assistance. Let us note that this training is organized by AFLA2 program, the Social and Financial Educational Children, and is partners of the Association for Education and Promotion in Entrepreneurship in Congo with Collaboration of Professional Saving Cooperative for Credit in Congo. After 40 days of the former Equatorial governor burial, family members, friends, and acquaintances paid the respect of Christians to him. The chairman of the parliament, Obemi Naku Njalanjoko, senators, and some members of the government participated in this church service held in remembrance of Louis Alphonse Koyagialo. Find out. <laughs> Family members, friends, and acquaintances paid worthy respect of Christians to the late governor, Alphonse Coagialo, 40 days after his burial at Necropo Cemetery. The parliament president, Obe Minaku, some members of parliament, senators, and some government members participated in this mass, chaired by the Reverend Abel Coco from Kinshasa Art Diocese. One of his sons, Julien Coagialo, in behalf of family, thanks the audience. Luis Fonsco Aguilo was a man free of trouble discrimination. He never entertained a grudge and never shared misconducts. He was full of generosity, peace, hospitality, goodness, solidarity, love for others, and his work. Luis Fonsco Aguilo, rest in peace, thank you. After his death in South Africa on December 14, 2014, Alphonse Coagialo has been exalted as a national hero by the Republic President Joseph Kabila Kabange. His remembrance, uh, particularly in the ministry where I am, is really a man that should set a good example to the Congolese youth. It is noteworthy that Louis Alphonse Coagialo had many important functions. The last one is that of the Equator Governor. The responsibility, self-awareness, strengthening marriage bond, as well as the sense of forgiveness, such were some principles assigned to couples that were invited to the family day organized at St. Christophe Parish here in Genja Atatiri. The purpose of this mass was to help married couples experience love and joy in their marital life for a better future. Get on be as more. <laughs> It was an important moment for couples to reveal the principle assigned to them, namely the responsibility of self-awareness, strengthening marriage bond, as well as the sense of forgiveness, seeing that the family is viewed as the basic cell of society. At Saint Alphonse and Saint Christophe, there was a great joy. It's really a great opportunity that the church grants to families and couples to celebrate the day-to-day -day joy they experience in families. Marriage is a rewarding life. It is better when the couples are Christians. The Reverend Sekaluk Sekelelo from St. Christophe has admonished in his preaching faithful ones to love, which should prevail in a family. Husbands are urged to love their wives as the Christ loved the congregation. The gospel was based on Matthew 19, 1 through 9. We read those verses. To immortalize that mass, a diploma was given at the end of ceremony to families of 15, 20, and 55 years of marital life. How to boost Congolese economy without relying on international organizations? The solution is very, very simple. Investment and good governance are the key to lift people out of poverty. To figure out the ins and outs, let's take a listen. The Democratic Republic of Congo is the emerging country through its development plan, namely the modernity revolution initiated by the head of state, Joseph Kabila Kabange. There are, however, some key factors that need to be taken into consideration to keep the republic move forward economically. A lot of efforts are being made to achieve this goal. 
Many Congolese people think that education must be the main focus when it comes to a better and sustainable development. So the education system should be adjusted to the reality on the ground to fit the image that is to be implemented. Some other things like job creation with hardworking people, good organization in different sectors, self-confidence, local investments and economic independence. All these are a challenge to meet in the year to come. It's a said and done. Congolese people need to work hard in collaboration to get there, and then their dream will come true. To five, the macroeconomic situation of the Democratic Republic of Congo, it requires a lot of strategies such as investment by getting rid of anti-values, namely corruption and embezzlement within the public administration. More details with Blanche Coedibetes, right here and right now. So you just educate them and also in providing to them abilities so that they may be able to deal with that. So you said yes. we can find a way out. I say yeah. constituting ourselves in small associations is also another way out. Yes. We can have different groups in our country and Are work Are you talking about simple associations or, you know... Uh, NGO, NGO is... Or companies, sir. companies. But small and begin, medium enterprises. You begin like first that. by being a small association, and yes. then finally you can, you can meet your target, and then you set up a company or a plant, and yes. then you work hard. You cannot just boost a country where the population is extremely high, yes. just in a blink of a second. You need help from the bank, you need help from other companies, you know, to come, you know, t to help you. Yes. So, the way Nova is saying that we just need to you know, to promote just Congolese is hard. Yes. You know, the population is high. You know, there's a lot of population. Yeah. And there's not a lot of, like, big companies and, you know, and things like that. So I think we need help, obviously, from the others to come to help first to boost the, com the economy. In the, uh, the attractive aspect of this topic. Yes. To be able to demonstrate that we can actually move forward by relying on ourselves. Yeah. And I want to tackle that issue from a positive, optimistic standpoint. But before I do that, I want to disagree with, a little bit with my brother, who argued that yes. we do not have model in this model. country. <laughs> Myself, I'm a model. You have a model, a model in the front. You yourself you first can be you a, model. a model. You are you know. a model. an English teacher. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Mukengeshai is a model. A model. You know. Tighten your belt because English programs become mandatory on television. Besides, news cast you're watching, we do have another vitally important called the Blantly. Blantly is a big opportunity for you to express your development ideas without obstruction. Stick around, we'll be back after the break. Find out. <laughs> Blankly is very nice. In DRC, Blankly is a no big ocean. Blankly is exciting. Blankly is my passion. Wherever you are, what's Blankly? Blankly with an Italian Maria. Think to Blankly. English is the reality in DRC. Blankly, Blankly and Blankly. Everything is under control. I'm back. Bluntly. Uh, down on the ground. One is you need to do everything local, even if you think globally. It means that you don't have to have a network strategy. Be considered as a panacea concerning the development. The economic growth in the Congo is on the paper, but it's not the reality. Is, uh, evidence, especially among students, people who are graduating, you can see it may be strong, but people are dealing with it. This is the problem. Or why do we come up with it? Not the way, but you say you're more From time you know, you know that he has eaten omelet without bringing eggs. That's why he must polish up economic strategies in order to skyrocket. Do you have any ideas about economic development and welfare? Join us in this program. Bluntly, bluntly, and bluntly. Everything is under control. Keep in touch. Thanks for watching and goodbye from Kinshasa. We are the Democratic Republic of Congo. All the best and keep in touch as usual. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next time. Thank you. From now on, English program has become mandatory on television. Watch, newscast, and you will be knowledgeable.
Newscast with Anise Yomboraya. Newscast with Anise Yomboraya. Thanks for watching and goodbye from King Charles. Keep in touch.